What's up, y'all? What is up? It's your girl, EJ, and welcome back to The Recap, y'all. Now, today, we're going to be doing what I like to call the Rewatch Recap, and this is where we're going to go back and rewatch the first season of some of our favorite TV shows. First up is going to be The Family Business, so let's get into it, y'all. Okay, y'all, so The Family Business is based off of New York Times bestselling author Carl Weber's books, The Family Business. Okay, y'all, so this episode is going to start out with your girl Paris getting into a little bit of trouble, and we're going to figure out really quickly that Paris is going to stay in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Now, she's going to be detained because her and her boyfriend decided to steal one of her daddy's cars and go on a joyride. Now, of course, the police are not feeling her at all, and they talking a lot of mad noise. Now, Paris is going to let them know, hey, you don't know who I am. I am Paris M.F. Duncan. And when Harris walks in and walks her right on out of there, I think they all really realize that you know that she was not somebody that they should be messing with however once she gets outside and she sees her daddy she definitely makes a quick turn of things and makes a passionate plea to let him know that she didn't do anything so all that big girl that she talked so all that big girl talk that she was talking in there with the police, yeah, it definitely changed when she saw her daddy, y'all. So anyway, y'all, uh, LC is going to need to go to a meeting. You know, they've called the meeting, and Ronald Sims is wanting to see him. Now, Ronald Sims is going to be the city councilman. He's going to bring in uh, Lord Duran, who is his chief of staff, and they're going to want his, you know, endorsement. They're going to want him to back them for his run for governor. Now, currently, the Duncans support Mayor Washington, and he's going to let them know, hey, we support, you know, Mayor Washington. And he just doesn't see what Ronald is saying. You know, Ronald is saying that she's on her way out and, you know, that people really don't like her that much and that she's old news and that he's going to be the governor. And Elsie's like, look, beat her in the primaries and I'm your guy. Until then, you know, we rocking with her. And that's kind of how they end that. But, of course, Ronald wasn't really feeling this whole thing, and he's going to let his chief for staff know hey let's mess with his business so clearly Ronald has some connections and he's going to be able to use those connections to try to create some influence in order to influence these people to stop doing business with your boy LC so so anyway, y'all, your boy Orlando and Junior are going to go and pay the guy that Paris had her little incident with a visit. They're going to give him a good old fashioned butt whooping and tell him, look, do not come around our sister anymore. Now, while they're doing that, you know, Chippy is giving Nevada a lesson. She's using this as a teaching moment and it's like, look, what did they do wrong? And then, of course, Nevada is telling her everything that they did wrong. Now, everybody is on their way to this retirement party. Your boy El LC has decided to retire. He's handing over the reins to someone else. Now, of course, you know, there's going to be a lot of people in attendance of this whole party. Your boy Sal Dash is going to show up. Now, Sal Dash thinks that Harris should be the one to take over, and he's there to see if this is what's going to go down. Now, when LC decides to make his announcement, and when it comes out to be Orlando who is going to be the next in command, everybody is kind of shocked by this whole thing. But nonetheless, they're happy about it, but they're still a little bit shocked that this is going to be the person that's taking taken over. Now, the person who seemed to be the most shocked and the most unhappy about it was your boy Harris because he felt like he was LC's right hand and that he should have taken over. But at the end of the day, Harris, you're not a Duncan. So, no, you're not going to take over because you're not a Duncan. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, y'all. Moving forward to uh, when Harris and London are actually having a conversation about this whole thing because he is super salty, you know what I'm saying? And he's airing out his grievances to his wife, and she's trying to console him and be there for him, but he just ain't trying to hear it. Now, his phone is going to ring, and when his phone rings, of course, London is going to be like, who is that? Because he doesn't answer it. And, of course, she's going to be suspicious, so she's going to try to grab his phone, and then he's going to smack the hell out of London, you know what I'm saying? And this is going to be the first time that we realize that Harris can't keep his hands to himself. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that kind of happens. And then we're going to move on to the next scene where we're going to see Rio and uh, Paris are going to be talking, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to learn that Rio doesn't feel like he's really a part of this family. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't feel like his dad really, you know, appreciates him. He put this whole party together for him and he felt like, you know, there was no appreciation there. And your girl Paris is just saying that, hey, you know, this should have been Vegas's job. 
not everybody is excited to see Orlando get the reins, but neither the less their family. So they're going to do what they have to do. Okay, y'all. So your boy Orlando is going to meet Ruby. You know, Orlando has this little thing where he likes to, uh, you know, hire escorts. You know, he gets he he gets these high end escorts and he never sees the same one twice. He loves you know, women with accents. He loves women that are kind of exotic. And so he's able to get his pick of women. However, he never sees the same one twice. So we're going to meet Ruby and something about Ruby is just different. You can tell that there is like a little spark between them, a little connection between them. Neither the less, you know, Orlando is Orlando. He doesn't have time and he feels like women are a distraction. Now, meanwhile, while all of this is happening, you know, your boy LC is getting a visit from the from Lee and Lee is telling him look we can't get your order to you like we're not going to be able to get your shipment to you like that's not going to happen and it's at this moment that we realize that the Duncans not only own you know Motor Duncan that they not only own Duncan Motors you know they not only have this successful exotic car dealership business but the Duncans also have a family business that they run as well you know the Duncans are you know one of the biggest drug distributors in New York and at this moment they're connect is telling them hey we can't deliver to you anymore and they have shipments that they need to get out you know they have product that they need to get out to you know because they're the connect for other people so they need to be able to have this product and now he's like nope not going to be able to do it. Now, meanwhile, earlier at the party, I forgot to mention this part, there was a young man that had stopped by that wanted to talk to LC. But when they found out that he was tied to Alejandro Zanega, they didn't want to have anything to do with them. Now, we'll talk about Alejandro in just a second. Now, y'all, so, of course, LC is livid about this. And, of course, he's going to go and try to call a family meeting together. Like, he needs his boys. They need to regroup. He's going to call Lou, you know, Junior, Orlando, but Orlando is nowhere to be found. Orlando is not answering the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like Orlando is not really showing that he really deserves this title to be, you know, ahead of the family business. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, when it's all said and done, of course, Orlando was doing his thing with Ruby. So that's why he missed the call. So. So meanwhile, Chippy is going to remind Elsie about the visit that they got from Miguel. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe we need to reach out to Miguel because at this point they're going to need Alejandro. You know what I'm saying? Because Alejandro is actually another connect, you know, but he is someone that they have a lot of history with, you know, like a lot of history. And he and Elsie had this big falling out like 10 years ago because Alejandro actually cheated in a poker game and took one of Elsie's you know prized cars and Elsie is huge on cars he loves his cars it's his thing and so they haven't had anything to do with each other since then so Miguel um so Elsie Lou they're going to set up a meeting with Miguel and they're going to try to come to terms now part of these terms is that they give the roadster back you know what I'm saying so they agreed to do that. And Alejandro already knew that this was what it was going to take. And this was more so of a setup letting, you know, LC think that he, you know, negotiated these terms when Alejandro was willing to give up that car regardless in order to be able to get, you know, be their connect to be able to, you know, sell this product to LC anyway. So that all went down. Now, meanwhile, your girl Paris has been eyeing Miguel since the party. You know what I'm saying? And even though they keep telling Telling her like she knows she should stay away from him like because you know LC is gonna let him know hey that right there you don't mess with my daughter you stay away from her like he's already told him after they decided to do business with each other and he saw how Paris was looking at him and he saw how he was looking at Paris he like mm -mm. so Paris already knows that she should be staying away from him and Miguel knows this as well but Paris just keep flirting with him and so we already know that this is going to be trouble so anyway y'all so they um 
Junior is going to have his cousin pick up the shipment. You know what I'm saying? He's going to go get the car. He's going to get the shipment. Now, when his cousin goes to get the shipment, a police officer is going to pull him over, tell him that, you know, his little thing, I forgot what you call it, but that it was loose. That's how he kind of gets him out of the car. And then he's going to end up killing him and taking the shipment, y'all. So that's kind of how all of that goes down. So, of course, this is all going to look like a setup. And, you know, Miguel is going to be like the prime suspect. Like, you know, you just we just got this product and now the product has gotten stolen. And so they're going to go grab Miguel. The problem is, is that when they get there, your boy Miguel has already been seduced by Paris. You know what I'm saying? They're in the middle of doing what they do. After she was explicitly told to stay away from him, he was told to stay away from her, rather, and they still doing what they do. So now they've gotten your boy Miguel, and they're trying to get answers about why in the heck their shipment has come up missing and it's been stolen. And, you know, their their Elsie's nephew, their cousin, has been killed. Okay, y'all, so that's what's up with season one, episode one. Go ahead and get the conversation started down below. Let me know what y'all think about this entire episode, about how everything went down, about how they opened up the show. Did you enjoy the show when you first saw the first episode, or did it take some time for you to really get into this show? Go ahead and get the conversation started down below. Until next time, guys, peace.